Hello internet and today's video is going to be a top five Wednesday. This is a Goodreads group run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. Both links are down below for your perusal. Now today's topic was books that were our favorite before we joined some sort of book community in my case booktube. So these are some of the books that I really really enjoyed and still enjoy that I had read previous to my entrance booktube. So first we have Adventurers Wanted, the series by M.L. Foreman. There are four books in this series and I've mentioned it off and on on this channel. This is just a really really great adventure story. It tells the story of a boy named Alex and he walks off and he ends up downtown and he sees in a shop window this cardboard sign that keeps changing colors saying Adventurers Wanted, Ad Adventurers Quest, Adventure, all sorts of stuff. So he walks into the shop wanting to ask a question about this cardboard sign that can just magically change colors and lettering and he ends up in a world where adventurer is a job that you can have and now he has a brand new job. He goes on this quest that is to defeat a dragon called Slothbog and it continues from here. Every book is a different quest and different adventure that he goes on and we learn more about the world that he has become a part of and his history. One of the next series that I absolutely adored before I joined booktube and still do even though I haven't reread it as often as I did before booktube is Protector of the Small by Tamora Pierce. I think I may have mentioned this one before. So I do not know the names of each individual book and I'm pretty sure there's like four books in the series because I had the Protector of the small bind up which included all of the books. So now I really really love Tamora Pierce as a writer but this was my favorite series out of her. Now this comes after the Lioness Quartet thing with Alana and it goes to night school so where you learn to be a knight and there is this girl who she's going to be the first official lady knight. Now in a series before this there was a girl who dressed as a boy and hid in the night school and learned to be a knight but she was knighted a sir. After they discovered her they allowed women to also go to a night school and this is the first person who is taking up opportunity and is grabbing onto that opportunity to that they are now allowing girls to fight alongside boys and train to become knights of the kingdom. So this follows our main character whose name I can't remember but she is just a very resilient character. It's very interesting to see how resolute she is when the boys start hazing her and trying to pick on her and try to get her to leave and she's like no I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna pout. I knew what I was getting into, I knew they weren't going to be happy and I'm going to continue. So we have a lot of the political issues that go along with a female entering a man's world and how she dealt with it and then how people reacted to her because she was one of the best of them. She is one of the best of them and it took them so long to realize that. And I just love how amazing she is. I love that she doesn't have the standard princess beauty. She is a woman built like the night woman from Game of Thrones. If you know who that is, I'll insert a picture. But the way that she's described, she is a built woman and I love seeing a character that didn't look like everyone else when it came to the book world because everyone else was like this thin, very graceful looking creature and here was my little knight and she was stocky, she was built, she was ready for this, she had muscles, she had brawn, she could take down people. like. She was built for this type of work and I was like, yes, thank you. We have Dragon's Keep by Jeanette Carey and this is about a girl who has this dragon finger. So she has this reptilian dragon finger and that's because when she was born, her mother, well, before she was born, when she was conceived, her mother was having all sorts of problems and kept having stillborns and miscarriages. So her mother found out that there was a way for her to have a baby, which was to drink a dragon's 
egg, so a fertilized dragon's egg, and to drink that before it has fully grown and then she could have her baby. So as a result, this girl has a dragon finger. So she is living her life. She ends up having to leave. She ends up meeting her dragon father and her dragon siblings. And it's just a book where it has a lot to do with some politics because she is the princess of the kingdom so she has to deal with that but then she has like this dragon blood in her so not a lot of people take kindly to that she always has to wear gloves because of her dragon finger it was very interesting i think the reason why i love this book so much back in the day was because it was about a girl who was a dragon i mean she wasn't fully a dragon she didn't have all the super dragon powers but she was still dragon ken and she had a dragon father and i like dragons and i was jealous and i wanted to be her then we have octavia e butler fledgling as you can see this one pretty pretty torn up i really love this book i love octavia e butler and i love her works but this is by far my favorite one. I just, it was it was so good. This is my favorite Butler book. All the other ones are great, but this is by far my favorite. This one is about a vampire and it is a black vampire. So you find out that this girl is like 50 years old, but she ha can't remember anything. She has amnesia, she cannot remember anything. So she's slowly trying to discover where she came from. And she discovers that she and her siblings were a part of an experiment where vampires were traditionally white, but they decided to try to help them deal with the sun, they would experiment and create black vampires because black skin is more resilient to the sun with all that melanin. So she is one of the first black vampires and if, due to racist and prejudice, her whole colony was burned down. Her whole little clan, I can't remember what the name for a group of vampires is, was all burned down but she ended up escaping so now she's slowly trying to learn everything again and along the way she learns that vampires have to like create harems of like they're basically harems they're for people like the vampires need a group of people so that they can feed off of so it's like this we have the intrigue of like her history trying to figure that out you have the intrigue of like the people coming after her, who is she has to figure out how to get back into vampire society what she's supposed to do like she's new to this vampire thing even though she's been around for a while and shouldn't be but because of her amnesia she's having a few problems so favorite things oh my gosh vampires awesome uh it was a black vampire awesome she was just a very she is a very small feminine creature not like overly feminine but she was a very small petite woman and I have a friend who is like a mom to me who is very small and petite and black and I just know how strong she is like she could defeat many men bigger than her to so to see a girl a woman so small um, be a very very strong person both physically and mentally was just psh, thank you I needed more of that in my life and the last one is Miss Perrin's home for peculiar children now I have the full series it's back here if you can see it but I read this before booktube of course and I fell in love with the weirdness of it this is a series about um, a young boy whose grandfather dies he wants to discover his grandfather's past because his grandfather has always been telling him stories all his life has been like giving him cryptic messages and he goes back to the place the orphanage that his grandfather was raised back in the day and he discovers that his grandfather was raised in a peculiar children orphanage run by mrs peregrine i love to see the peculiar powers because they were really peculiar like they weren't like superpowers like they were super but they weren't like you know the classic superpowers like oh you can fly oh you can shoot laser beams like 
like stuff that was like really cool and kind of practical but this was more like powers that are just super odd like you wouldn't you wouldn't think of that like there's a kid in here who like his body is a beehive so he can have bees live in his body there's a girl who is so light she would always float away like she's made out of freaking helium or something i guess like her blood is 90 percent helium like there's so many different weird powers i think the only normal one is the love interest to the guy character who can like create fireballs in her hand like that's normal in the realm of superpowers but everyone else is just it's kind of a little weird and i loved seeing that i was like wow like who could think of like this being a superpower like it's really weird we had like some normal ones but then we had like ones that were really odd and i was like oh that's peculiar the movie was jank but the books are good <laughs> so those were all the books that i was a big fan of before booktube i'm sure there was a bunch more but i have limited number of books that I could show you and can remember because all of the books that I own before booktube are in storage because unfortunately college does not provide me with enough room that I can have my own gigantic personal library so I gotta have to limit it a little bit but as you've seen through my book hauls I'm not very good at that so I figure I just keep those ones in storage and these new ones that I haven't read at all I can keep in my room with me and stare at all day until I actually decide that I'm going to read them so that was it for this video or if there's books that like you're really really in love with that you were in love with like that you read as a child or you read just like the day before you started booktube or any sort of book organization comment down below and let me know like what kind of books were you into back in the day when you were a less educated reader before you joined the community that told you how you were supposed to feel about things you know if you like what I'm doing here you want to continue to see more click the buttony buttonies down below and goodbye internet